What's up, guys? Well, I, I think I, I think I'm saying sunshines and starlights now. What's up, sunshines and starlights? Um, today, as you can see, we are in Minecraft. I wanted to get a game. We'll play a game that you know I could just jump around in while I talk instead of just not. Ooh. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um, so as you saw in the title, at least I'm pretty sure I went with what I was thinking and put the title as Reason Why I've Been on a Break. Oh, there's another parkour over here. I'm not good at parkour, by the way. I don't think that was a parkour. That was really embarrassing. Uh, let's just restart this part. Oh, Jesus. What's up, guys? Oh, my gosh. Sorry. What's up, sunshines and starlights? Um, it's me, Ava. In case you guys don't know, I go by Ava around here. I go by Galaxy or J, which is middle name, or Bob. If you guys would like... Yeah, I'm just going to tell you right now. I got the nickname Bob because my aunt said that that was what my name was going to be. So, I got called Bob all through 5th grade, and I loved it. So you guys can call me Bob if you want, because I love that nickname. Also, sorry that my my audio is, like, trash. I can't, for the life of me, figure out why it sounds like that. So I just kind of gave up. I'm not tech-savvy, you guys. Anyways, um... This video is about why I've been on break, so some of you might, well, some of you may or may not think that it's because of, like, maybe mental health, or or maybe I'm just sleep deprived, which, which I am, I so totally am, um, it's because I went on my first vacation with my family, I'm like, oh, oh, okay, don't mind my awful gameplay. Um, I'm in high school, and this is my very first vacation. Well, not probably not very first, unless you count visiting family that lived in the same places that I've lived in before. But anyways, this was like the first vacation where it was just us. Usually we go on vacations for friends or family. This was the first time just doing it for us. Where was I supposed to go from here? Oh, no. Okay, um, I just fell all the way down. Anyways, um, we went to Honolulu, Waikiki, and we stayed, and we stayed in uh, Sky Towers. Yes, Sky Towers. Um... It was a really nice experience, actually. Um, we had a tour guide. Oh, you know, maybe I should just start from the beginning. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little tired. I still have jet lag, so. Anyways, um, we flew from where I live now to Texas to Honolulu. Oh, my God. Um, the plane ride was really nice. For some reason, the the flight attendant kind of looked like the guy who played Alexander Hamilton in the musical. And, um, he sounded gay. Which, obviously, nothing wrong with that. We love the gays around here. I just thought it was kind of funny. That was on the plane there. Oh my gosh. Um, on the plane ride back. Actually, I'm just... I'm getting ahead of myself, so Honolulu, we arrived, and we stayed on floor 15 in Sky Towers, but then eventually moved down to floor 9, because they gave us two keys, I mean two rooms, because we had too many people in our family or something like that, but anyways, uh, 
Am I supposed to go up here? Am I not? I'm supposed to go over there. Got it. Oh, what does this say? Oh, okay. Make sure you follow the people who made this. You know, I will find these people and I will link them down below. I don't have Twitter, but my mom has since done. I have YouTube. Anyways, um... Okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh, jeez. I'm, so, I'm so bad at remembering things. Um... Oh, Sky Towers, right. We got two, two floors. The pool wasn't that bad. It was just outside in front of all the other skyscrapers, which was kind of embarrassing when you have brothers who love to shout. Anyway, um... The food there was actually really good. Uh, I went to Hard Rock Cafe once in there, and their, um... Their pizza was my favorite. I mean, not pizza. Sorry, not pizza. I had pizza somewhere else. In the sky... Something. Sky something. I'll just leave a picture or something. But anyways, Hard Rock Cafe was delicious. And I even got a sweater from there. And... Did I say Sky Rock? Oh my gosh. Hard Rock. Sorry. Um, I went to my first... What are those things called again? Oh, luau. Yes. I went to my first luau. And it was amazing. I really liked the fire part. I mean, who doesn't like the fire part? And, um, maybe I'll leave a few videos or pictures up there. If you were at the, the, the luau at the mall, in Waikiki, then I was there at table four. The The food at the luau was really delicious. I got to take home a thing. I'm sorry, I get distracted. I don't even remember what I was just saying. Something about the luau. Anyway, then we went to Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor was pretty inspirational, actually. I really loved it. And the... Oh, guys, it was it was also kind of awkward, because on the ride back, there was a man that was very clearly intoxicated. He kept, like, putting his phone over the boat, which it was really horrible of me, but I secretly hoped that he would drop it in the ocean. Turns out my whole family did. This guy kept like taking selfies with the the captain, try, trying to get him to flip the bird in the picture. And then he completely ignored what the 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 other captain said to sit down. This man also played the harmonica inside of the memorial part, so that was a little weird. And then he just started screaming. I don't know what happened to that man after, because he was just gone after. Oh, sh shout out to our tour guide. Our tour guide name was Juicy, or I think he said his other name was Chauncey or something. So, shout out to him. Also, shout out to the guy from the luau. Sorry, the guy from the luau. And the only thing I can remember was the, the eh, eh part, because I just have bad memory. I'm sorry. His name was too long. I also learned how to do the hula dance horribly. I've always wanted to learn how to do the hula, but I'm just, I'm not good at it. But you know, with some good practice, I'll be able to do it. Also, I'm a little tired because it's literally 12 in the freaking morning. I'm not sure why I'm still awake, but I am. Anyways, um... Some of the food made me feel a little sick, but... It was, it was fine. It was because it was new food that I haven't eaten yet. 
um, the ocean. The ocean was absolutely freaking beautiful. It was really nice to be able to play in the sand because I haven't played in the sand in a while. In my old house, I did live by the ocean, but we didn't have sand. We had quick sinking mud. I lost a lot of good shoes at that place. Any hoodle. Um, <laughs> this video was supposed to be so much more exciting. I'm, I'm just awkward. I'm an awkward teenager. I'm sorry. Um, oh, I also got a new stuffed animal, of course. I have adopted over 10,000 stuffed animals. That's a joke, but... I have a lot of stuffed animals. I'm growing my collection. I will not stop growing my collection. Um, I was looking around in, ooh, I think it was like the ABC store or something. And um, I saw a Beanie Baby. It was a little dog. And its name is Noodles. It's a golden retriever stuffed animal named Noodles. I had to get it. I instantly fell in love with it. Like, guys, its name is Noodles. I would not stop repeating that as if to justify that that's exactly the reason why I got this stuffed animal. It is, by the way. His name is freaking Noodles. I'm okay. I'm not crying on the inside or anything. I'm really bad at parkour, I'm sorry. Um, we flew on American Airlines um, on the way there and on the way back, but on the way back, no, yeah, on the way back, one of the planes had um, a screen that you could watch. On the way there, we got the same plane to Texas, to Honolulu, and vice versa. Um, on the way there, I watched Fast X, and then the new my what, Little Mermaid movie, and then and then half of um, Avengers Endgame, and then on the way back, I watched Avengers Endgame, and then and then uh, I I just I need a second to think about it. Um, I think it was, I think it was Fast X again. Listen, I had to. Han was in it. Or was Han in the ape? No, Han, Han is my favorite character, by the way. And I may or may not be working on a texting story that is an anime cr crossed over with the Fast and Furious franchise. I love that franchise, guys. And um, may or may not be out soon. And the other video that I'm working on that I've been teasing for a bit is um, a mashup of some alternate universes that I like or am using or might use in the future and I love all of them and I'm like 19 no 17 more alternate universes away from being done with it and then Christmas special I'm going off on a tangent who made this I'm just really bad at parkour. I was about to say, why would you make this? I'm so bad. I'm sorry. I'm really bad at this game. Um, what? Telling? No, I was not talking to the ghost. Everyone knows you shouldn't talk to ghosts. Oh, sorry. The demon. The demon that lives in here. There is no demon that lives in here. 
What is he? And apparently featuring Nemo. If I sound out of energy, it's because I slightly am, because that was a... If you take in all of it, I stayed up for, like, a day, maybe two, and I am so jet-lagged right now. So that's, that's where I've been. I've been in Hawaii for a week. I think we went there on the 11th, and then came back like three days ago, three, four days ago. 11th or 10th. Yeah. Anyway, um, that's really all I have to say, so. I want to thank you guys for watching this short video. Why do I have no shoes on? I want to thank you guys for watching this short video. Um, I just wanted to explain where I've been and what I'm doing. Um, I'm very tired. Um, sorry, I'm so awkward. I will try to work on that. I don't have good social skills. Because I don't really talk to people. Unless you're Cadence, then I talk to you all the time. But I'm not really good with talking to other people. But anyways, that's besides the point. That's where I've been. I will show you guys a picture of Noodles. I love him. Anyway, um, sorry this is a very awkward video. I just figured I should get it done with before I get distracted on something else and completely forget about it. Thank you to all you five people who are watching this video. Oh, there was one more thing. On the flight way back, there was a guy, like one of the flight attendants, that looked like Dr. Brenner, but a little chubbier, and super sweet, actually. So, shout out to those people, and shout out to the people that made this Minecraft game. Well, not the whole game. Obviously, shout out to the people who made the whole game. Why am I still talking? Thank you to everyone mentioned in this video. Except for my brother, because he's a knucklehead. I hope you guys enjoyed this very, very awkward video. And I hope you have a nice Christmas or winter or anything else. Oh wait, before I go, I was trying, I was going to tell you about the weather there. It was really hot, really, really hot. But I loved, I loved it. I love summer, and summer weather in the winter is just amazing. It also rained a few times, but I didn't really mind, because of the, the way you have to pay for everything, like, you have to pay for parking everywhere. We had to walk everywhere. And that's why I was really excited when it rained most of the time. On the bright side, I earned, like, over 30,000 steps over there, so. It made me feel like, well, going to Hawaii made me realize that I should try to better myself. It was a really life-changing experience being out there. It was really pretty, and... It made me realize that I should have more peace in my life, and that I should walk more. And there was a really nice moment when, during the ingress thing, that's one of the reasons why we went there for an ingress anomaly. Yes, that. Um, and I did, like, a slight jog, and for some reason it made me realize how much I loved being on my soccer team. I miss soccer a lot. The last team I had, 
I don't even think we had a name, but they were pretty chill. But the last last one I had, our team in Washington was called the Wild Things. I miss my coaches and I miss my teammates. I had a super, I had a, I had a nickname there. It was called Beast because I was really good at defense. I loved defense. It was my favorite position. What are you doing? Why are you walking in on my heart to heart? What are you doing? Sorry, my family keeps busting in like they own the place. Anyways, um, you know, let me tell you guys a little funny little story. One time I was, I was practicing the, the goalie position because I'm not really good at that position. It's one of my least favorites because I'm really scared of being hit in the face by the soccer ball, which there was a girl on my team that wouldn't even care. She would smack the ball with her head every time it was in the air. It was really, really cool, I guess. Really cool to get some brain damage. <laughs> anyway, um, I was practicing the goalie position and... One of my coaches, I had a male and a female coach. Coach BJ, if you're watching this, by the way, I miss you guys. And whatever the male coach's name was, because I can't remember for the life of me. I'm really bad at remembering names, but I'm not that bad at remembering faces. Anyways, he kicked me the soccer ball, and I tried to kick it, but because it was raining outside, guys, I would... I have a low, I mean, I have a really high cold tolerance because I would play soccer, like our soccer games would take place in the rain, the snow, the hail, 80 degree weather, every, every kind of like temperature in every kind of, every kind of weather except for tornadoes because we didn't have those there. Anything that happened in Washington, I played through it. Anyways, besides the point. It was rainy that day, obviously, because it's Washington. And the, my coach kicked me the ball. And instead of kicking it, I slipped on the grass and I fell on it. It looked like I laid an egg. And I just laughed. I was cackling and my why are you still here anyway cuz um cuz that happened the next day or the next time I went to practice my coach gave me a Cadbury egg and then when it was time it was to well, time skip when it was time to do our Ooh, our, um, oh, championship or something like that. We had to pick nicknames to put on the back of our sweaters. And my coaches said, do you want to be called Beast or do you want to be called Cadbury? It was our little inside joke. And I was like, Beast sounds amazing. It sounds like they'll strike fear in the, in humankind. I didn't actually think that, but I liked Beast. I thought it was funny. And then we played, and on the on the day where we had our very last time on a soccer on our soccer team, we we went to a bowling alley, and we played we played bowling there obviously, and we were just hanging out one last time before next soccer season. Little did they know I wouldn't be there for next soccer season. Sometimes I feel like I let them down by not being there, but they're capable. I'm pretty sure they were able to handle it without me. Anyways, um, we were playing bowling, and it was the last time I would, like, ever see my teammates, by the way. Um, I went up to my coach, and I was like, I'm just now realizing, like, it just dawned on me that Cadbury Beast 
would have been a hilarious name and confusing to other people. And everyone was like, why didn't we think about that at the time? I would have thought it was hilarious. <sighs> I just miss wearing that red jersey with black polka dots and running around with my teammates. I miss them. I also miss the Eagle team, by the way, if you guys are watching this, which probably not, but I also miss the Eagles team. And yeah. Sorry for that random soccer tangent. I'm not sure where that came from. I don't even remember. Thanks for watching. If you're still watching this, if this video gets, I don't know, more than two likes, I will expose some stuff from elementary school. I will read my elementary diary and I will read, I will read, um, oh, what do they call it? Oh, yeah, I will read my feelings journal that I had in elementary school, because why not? Probably also expose some elementary drawings, so that'll be fun. Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you have a good Hanukkah, good Christmas, or just a good day. I hope you had a good week, and I hope everything's going well for you guys. And if it's not... Feel free to vent about it in the comments section, and I'll definitely read it. As always, thank you for watching. I just said that. Goodbye!